Hey guys and welcome to another extremely motivating cleaning video. In today's video we are going to be cleaning my over 3100 square feet house from top to bottom. We are going to spend over two days getting this house in tip top shape. And thanks to the virus, most of us are quarantined and have nothing better to do than clean our homes, except of course, homeschool our kids, take care of them, feed them, possibly work from home. But you know, in that time, we can also be cleaning. This was the day after we went to the beach, right before all of this crazy quarantine stuff started happening. So our house was a wreck. You know when you leave the house and you go and do something fun and then you come home and your house is absolutely trashed, the laundry has piled up, the dishes have piled up, there's all of the beach sandy stuff that you have to unpack and then sweep the floors because they're covered in sand. Well that's what I had going on plus we had recently moved and I had spent a lot of time unpacking, organizing, stuff like that and kind of neglected just the daily cleaning that needs to be done. So this this was my very first time actually cleaning this entire house. We moved from a 1500 square foot house to a now about 3168 square foot house. So big change, it definitely took me a lot longer to clean. So let's start with the biggest problem area, which is my kitchen. We are going to get the surfaces nice and decluttered and cleaned off. We are going to get the floors in order and the dishes in order as well. Every single night before bed, I like to make sure that the kitchen is nice and clean. I put away all of the leftovers. This night we had my grandmother's famous chicken spaghetti. It was delicious. I like to have the stove nice and clean. It's kind of a pet peeve of mine when people have dirty stoves. I also like to get the countertops nice and shiny and clean. Get all the junk off the countertops. Does this happen every single night? No, obviously things had gotten out of hand, but when we're not traveling, and we're just home doing our thing, I try to make sure I do all of this. The dishwasher at this house is very old and does not fit as many dishes as my newer dishwasher at our last house did. So I am going to just do the best I can and then wash the rest from hand. We do plan to gut this kitchen and make it a lot more functional. I have so many plans for this kitchen, you guys. I am so excited. It is going to be a huge change, but of course we are going to have to save our pennies, every penny <laughs> for that.
And here we are again in the kitchen, cleaning off the surfaces, doing the dishes, just cleaning up after another meal. I just wanted to show you guys that yes, we clean in the evening, after bed, after dinner time, but then again after breakfast when you have a big family, there is more cleaning to be done still. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down this area has become a catch-all, which I do not like. I would love to put some floor-to-ceiling cabinets in it one day, but until then, I'm just gonna put away all this beach stuff until hopefully we can leave the house again and go to the beach again someday soon. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down
we do not have a dining room table yet, we are just taking our time when it comes to buying new furniture with this much bigger house. It is pretty expensive buying a home. There's a lot of expenses that go into it. And we are just trying to be smart about all of this. And we really don't need a dining room table right now. We can eat in our little breakfast nook area just fine. Now, eventually, I would love to have a dining room table and get rid of that breakfast nook. This is a little bit crazy, but I would love to get rid of the breakfast nook and expand the kitchen, remove both walls around the dining room, make the dining room just the only and main eating area, and just really make this more of an open concept house. So that is way down the road, of course, but I think it's fun to share my dreams with you guys. I hope you guys have dreams too. I think they can be a great motivator for us, and I know that I am just a big dreamer. Not everyone is, but it can be fun sometimes, so maybe dream a little bit. If you want, you could leave some of your dreams in the comments. It sounds a little funny, but I think it's really cool to speak your dreams to people, and it could be about your house or just your job, your future, your family, your kids, whatever it is. I would love to hear about it and chat with you about it in the comments. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the mundane And as the light startled our eyes We let go of disguise And now, there's something in the air And a sparkly shimmer Oh, yeah.
out of sand Reaching for the grand This is my middle child Henry's room. He is the one that you see as my shadow with me all the time, helping me clean. He is such a good helper. This is a very big room. All of the bedrooms are very big and his stuff looks so tiny and cute in it. I do want to decorate their rooms and make them feel a little bit more homey, but until then, I just wanna do my best to keep them picked up and clean for them. Just having it be clean and organized can make all the difference in the world. Bigger scale the world than hands as we go. Our room really looks pretty sad, especially on camera. We need a new bed. We desperately need a king size bed. It is just too small. A queen is too small for a big family like ours with kids jumping in our bed. So we need a king size bed and this room just needs to be spruced up. I think we'll paint it, we'll get like a nice bed frame, things like that. But for now, just the space alone has been amazing and I am so extremely grateful for it. So we are good with that for now, but I do feel like it doesn't look the best on camera. <laughs>
only showed us cleaning a small portion of the game room because I have a huge declutter organization video coming out and a part of that is the game room. So I will show more of it then along with the closet in the game room and everything. So that will be in a future video. But thank you, thank you so much for watching this video and staying until the very end. Definitely please subscribe if you haven't already and give the video a like and press, press that little bell uh, to be notified when I post videos. See you next time. Bye.